So in efforts to help you learn PLCs and help you learn the differences, um, I, the question got prompted that should I be concerned with if I have RS Logic 5000 or if I have Studio 5000? What's the differences and, and really uh, is that going to hinder you know my learning and stuff of that nature? And my answer to that is no. Right. So throughout the time of me doing PLC programming, working in the field, teaching it and all of the in between, really, uh, the differences are very, very subtle and the differences are going to be really revolved around like what OS are you using? Right. So what operating system are you using? Uh, or is it XP? Is it Windows 7? Is it, is it Windows 10? Um, and Rockwell's kind of progressed just like Windows has. Right. However, they kept their fundamentals the same exactly exact way. So it's a very, it's not so hard to learn as if, you know, transitioning from Windows XP to like Windows 10, that would be a hard transition. However, the Rockwell software is very simple to transition. I'm gonna show you both of these, right? I have both of them pulled up. So I have RS Logic 5000 pulled up and I have Studio 5000 version 32 pulled up. All right, so look, if you look, you still have the same things like file, edit, view, search, uh, logic, communications, tools, window and help right all those file structures are the same you still have your instruction palette over here so the instruction palette is re really wherever you want to customize and put it right um but in that effort they are defaulted in the same location uh you do have your controller information over here uh you can see both of those are exactly the same and this being the back layer is studio 5000 you can see that um, now what I am going to do is make a test program. I'm going to show you this, right? So I'm going to build a test program. It's going to be an emulator. It's not a big deal. We're just going to call it test and then we'll call it program. So we're going to show you the difference right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dummy program right here and I'm going to export something from my studio 5000 version 32. Uh, into my, uh, this is going to be a uh, RS Logic 5000 version uh, 20, right? So this is going to show you that it really doesn't matter as long as you have and understand um, the principles behind it. That's the real key to learning PLCs is the principles and fundamentals that you learn behind it. So for example, let's just show you this. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to export a whole uh, program, right? I'm gonna export a whole program, not the task. I could actually export the task, but I'm gonna do a whole program. So we'll come over here and we'll do that. We'll export and we'll export down to here. And let's just do this to uh, the PC and let's do this to like, uh, let's do downloads. Okay, so we'll export the downloads. As you see, the export actually came down and it shows where it exported and it was successful, right? So uh, basically you would have got a warning or an error message if you didn't. Now let's go ahead and add that into our other program, right? So we're gonna go to the task level because again, we made a program. So we're gonna import a program and we're gonna point it to the exact spot where we exported. Now I'm just showing you this. This is not an uh, import export example. This is showing you the differences right the differences between the two so we're going to come up to uh, our where we downloaded we're going to import that in and as you see this is going to be the exact same ladder logic that you see in RS logic 5000 is going to be the exact same ladder logic you see inside of studio 5000 okay so when I pull this up I pull up the example right here you can see this ladder logic is the exact same ladder logic that is in this one right here. So if you looked at these, they're exactly the same. There's no difference, right? So when it comes down to it, should you be concerned with it? If you have one version versus the other version, what are the differences and what are the things that I need to be concerned with if I'm learning PLCs? Really what you need to be concerned with, in my opinion, and throughout the years of me doing work in the field and also teaching this, I want to uh, impress the, the thing that I found the most impactful for learning is taking your time, understanding what you're learning, okay? Uh, understanding really like, let's just look at this one right here, right? This simple logic, right? This simple ladder, uh, rung zero, right? There's a bit, the control, there's a, there's a, a normally open bit, normally closed bit, normally closed bit, and an ons, right? And then you have a home. 
Now this is motion instructions, right? So it's a slight bit different, but I want you to understand the impact. If I was teaching you motion impact or motion instructions, right? Then I want you to understand how the functionality of that motion instruction work, right? I would want you to understand how the bits work in conjunction with that, how the flow of operation works so that you understand the outcome. And the real gist of it is don't try to overwhelm yourself. Don't try to watch too many videos at one time. Watch a little bit each day, right? Watch one video a day or two videos a day or whatever's not over, you know, uh, it's not too much uh, information overload or it's not boring you. Because again, we all, you know, watching videos can be quite daunting sometimes. So I, what I recommend is just like right here, same exact logic. I would recommend if, if you see me build it on a program or if you see me build it inside of a, a video, then you take and open up your instance, whether it be Studio 5000 or whether it be Rock or the, the RS Logic 5000, go ahead and build the same program, right? Do it for the muscle memory behind it and do it to make sure you understand the way that instruction or that functionality or that theory of operation that I'm teaching at that current time is easily passed on. So I recommend to break up that watching the video and then like watch a video and then in the, in the video actually do the project at the same time, right? So build it or either take a break, right? Whatever you want to do. Um, if you want to watch the videos and just take a break because you don't have you don't want to build it I highly recommend building uh, and going through and building the logic yourself because again when it comes down to it You can see and understand how the process works. All right, you're gonna get a more uh, Build a more of a muscle memory behind it, right? What did you do before? What are you learning and how is your comprehension of that learning, right? So it doesn't matter what version you're running. No, it doesn't matter what version you're running at all. What matters is the way and the understanding of how you're learning, right? So every single day, I have a, a thing, a motto that I try to be a better version of myself tomorrow than I am today. And that requires me learning something new every single day. And with that said, whether it be a small you know, step forward or a big step forward, that's completely up to you know how I feel that day are completely up to you know myself or my motivation for that day we all have days where we're just not there and we all have days where we are there so when it comes down to it you know you know when you're watching the videos don't overwhelm yourself just take it step by step video per video implement what you're learning no matter what version you're running right implement it like make the logic right build it out yourself but just go ahead, take your time and learn the way the fundamentals are. Even if you don't uh, like have an emulator to run it, even if you don't have a way to actually simulate the logic, go ahead and build it anyway because it builds up that muscle memory, right? It builds up the comprehension of what you're doing when you're learning PLC programming. So with that said, I just wanted to, to the question was prompted, does it matter which version I'm on or does it matter if I have Studio 5000 or if I have a Rockwell's or um, RS Logic 5000? Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you have, it doesn't matter which version you're on, you're gonna learn and be impactful, you're gonna grow and get a, be a better version of yourself tomorrow than you are today, as long as you keep pushing forward each and every day. So again, uh, hopefully that was helpful, and again, with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.